I think what a lot of comics do in the beginning, and this is like the first two years, is they don't know the difference between the premise and the punchline. This is a tells joke. I always tell people about that. Um, he always said, you know, he goes, I got a lot of pot guys, and they always say, hey, Dave, you want to smoke some pot? And he goes, it's not that illegal. <laughs> and then it's funny because I'll see people stop right there, and they're like, Okay, yeah, and they think that that attitude's what's going to get them through. Yeah. And then Dave, again, you pause and you go, okay, so what's your joke? And then whatever your shit you're going to write, and then you hit play, and Dave's like, if you're going to offer me something with that kind of whisper, give me something a little more illegal. <laughs> yeah. And then you're like, oh, shit. And then he goes, hey, Dave, you want to eat a bald eagle? <laughs> <laughs> and I mean, then then you're in Punchline City. Yeah, and then it's my friend, tag, yeah, tag, Luke tag. Allen would say. It's yeah. just like, yes, that's what you do. You, you fucking, that's what comedy, that's yeah. the joke. I don't think sometimes when they're starting off, people realize the punchline from the premise. Like, mm -hmm. you're, there's there's no joke there yet. Like, and I hate to say, I see it in a lot of gay comics where oh, really? they're like, they're like, you know, I, I I went to a gay bar. They were doing comedy. This is so bad. And they go, yeah, I found out Joe Rogan's like five three. And, he, and the guy goes, kind of explains a lot, doesn't it? And Everybody in that fucking bar lit up, and I was like, oh, no, this is oh. not comedy. Like, you, yeah. what? And honestly, like, just from what I've seen, I I don't think Joe Rogan would give a shit if you wrote a joke about him. No. But you better have a fucking joke. He wants a joke. Like, yeah. there's a difference between giving somebody shit and writing a joke about them. Yeah. And I remember I was sitting there, and I fucking, they caught my eye. Or I caught their eye rather, and, and they go, "What?" And I was like, "Nothing, nothing." And they go, "Oh, you didn't think that was funny? What? Do you like Joe Rogan?" Oh, they're like, "And I go, yeah." As a matter of fact, I do. It's just like, "Fuck you, people!" I, I now I've seen what you laugh at. I'm not worried about. I'm getting all emotional. Over. <laughs> <laughs> you I motherfuckers! Know, right? I'm gonna lose my whole WeHo fan base. And it's just like I don't know. And I go, "What? What? What? What are you mocking?" Right. And they're like, well, maybe he has a Napoleon complex. And I go, write a joke. That is more than what you just fucking said. Yeah, just making fun of his height. Yeah. And the guy's like on stage. And I was like, what? And they go, oh, well, I'm sorry that I shattered your your hero's little ego. And I go, you didn't shatter his and I literally, I just went, how short was he? Yeah. And it's just, you know what I mean? Like, there's yeah. a reason why. And he's 5'5", five, five, by the <laughs> exactly. way, motherfucker. Yeah. yeah, I know. I was just like, what is your fucking joke? Right. Because it's like, Joe Rogan is so short. How short Exactly. Yeah. yeah, and I mean, I know that's stupid. It's, it's old, like, Rodney Danger. I, I, you Take know, my yeah. wife. I'm yeah. all right now, but last week I was in bad shape. And it's just like, <laughs> at least at least he, like, had that, yeah. like, it, and, and and but you can tell though people never watched like like people today don't know who fucking Sam Kennison is sometimes yeah. and you're just oh, like man. you know even Rodney Dangerfield like when he would get a role going on like it's just people don't seem to give a shit about that because it's turned into like I'm going to express myself and yeah. I'm like please don't right oh god like I don't I don't want to know anything about you just just, just give me a fucking joke. Yeah, it's tough, man. Especially, you know, in everybody can find their voice and everybody can find their crowd. And that person with that Joe Rogan joke got a laugh. And those people that laughed at that joke want to hear that kind yep. of comedy. But then that's your opportunity to go up after them and go, oh, if you like that. Oh, God. You're yeah. going to like real jokes. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> really? Yeah. Oh, you got to try this. But, and you realize too, from like going other places. That's why I say like too, you've been to so many places. Yeah. You you can gauge not only as a photographer what you're doing, but as a musician, you can be like, mm, they like this one more than they like this. Yeah. So that's why I'm saying like you're building an arsenal that you don't even you have skill sets that you don't even know you have yet. Can we continue so this for like three hours? Can we just keep <laughs> keep it coming? Keep it coming. No, man. I and I like it's funny because I've noticed this about like like I said the cool thing about like like Josh and Joey that I've been so lucky to work with. Those guys don't shit on people. No, they honestly it's always about oh god. So did you hear Norm McDonald's joke about that? Or even yeah. Joey was like, 
oh dog rodney rodney's got a joke about a fucking a chinese laundry mat and i mean <laughs> but that's what those guys yeah. are like they they're hyping like, other people yeah, up. And, yeah and that's what it's about and like, they're fans of the comedy i hear so many like big time headliners are like i don't watch comedy because i don't want it to blah, 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 blah. i'm like dude well you're missing out on the greatest yeah. joy of life I, like don't get me wrong, watching a special at home by yourself, you're like, you don't laugh like you would if there's literally any other human in the room <laughs> or watching it live. Yeah. But like, I want to see that. I want to oh, see what you took two years, three years to cook up. And I want to compare it to my shit that I wrote this morning. And, and it, it's like you said, though, like, especially cooking up, like, I, today, and oh God, I, I feel so bad. I, I keep quoting a tell shit on here. He had a joke from years ago. And he was talking about cheerleaders <laughs> and he was saying, he goes, guy, and it's just so out of the fucking blue. Yeah. And he said, and he's, this is an old joke. So again, it's a tells, but what was so funny was he said, he goes, guys, I was watching these cheerleaders and he goes, and they threw a girl up seven feet in the air and they caught her. And he goes, mm -hmm. he goes, that's called cheerleading. And he goes, if you <laughs> kick her out of a moving car, it's called a felony. <laughs> I mean, it was so god. It just hit me, and I was laughing, yeah. and I was like, "Because that's not where you think Dave's gonna go." And that's just it, though. Yeah. That's that's the beautiful thing. How hard it is to, and, and that's an old fucking joke from you know a long time ago that yeah. I heard, and it was just so like, I I, I didn't see where that was coming. I didn't yeah. know where I didn't know that where that was gonna go, and that's the kind of shit that people love and that, that oh. you're a fan of. Yeah, you know how I think the king of that is Anthony Jesselneck. Yeah. And, and boom, 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 boom. For an hour, like he does set up punch mm -hmm. for an hour. And it's always a hard left turn. And you're oh. like, by 30 minutes in, you're like, I'm going to get this next one. I'm going to get, <laughs> I, know, I know where he's going to go. And not a single fucking time. He's got three specials out. Oh. And I, that's at least 180 jokes, if not two, 210, 220. Yeah. And I haven't gotten a single one. <laughs> See, though, and that, that's what I mean, though. By that notion, every every time like he tells a joke, you're at least listening because mm -hmm. you're like, okay, how did you craft it? Norman's the same way. Like uh, yeah. for me, I, I love the you know the Mark Normans, the Sam Rose, the Yeggs. <laughs> Fuck, that was good. Yeah. I've been practicing. <laughs> that was creepy. <laughs> It, do I have oh, a good? That was great. Gavity. No. Yeah, it's just the old radio announcer voice. I think. <laughs> well, tell him you I know, have a yeah. great Norman. Fuck. So yeah, like him, Joel. But again, though, it's like we were talking about. I I think that especially, um. Uh, and, and again, I I will say I I see that happen more with newer gay comics because they it just it, it feels like more I'm gonna express myself. And I'm always like, I, I love, I love gay com gay comedy. I, I do because it's yeah. just like, I feel like, oh good, I connect with somebody because there's not a lot of us. Yeah. So it's just like, please give me, give me something like solid. And it, you know, if it, it just, sometimes it misses the mark and I, that's consistently where I see it miss.